the day has come, the day we've looked forward to, talked about and dreamt of. We've lived uh, aboard for the last eight months now through the Arctic winter. We've survived and we've cursed the cold, dark and snow. We've been carrying water and diesel, dreaming of sunny warm days with a perfect breeze filling the sails. We've never missed a comfortable life as landlubbers though. The life on board feels like it's meant for us. Being liveaboard is not easy, but living life is a whole lot easier. Our plan is to sail south. We were hoping for Scotland, Ireland, the Bay of Biscay, the Mediterranean and the French canals up north. It probably will not happen because of the virus and the, the closed borders. But the destination is not important. Our journey is. We are going to enjoy every nautical mile, every second of the adventure. We are going to lower the pulse, get in sync with the sea, learn to be in the moment and learn to live all over again. Well, uh, today is the day, or, uh, or almost the day. Tomorrow is the day, but uh, this is the last uh, preparation before we leave. And today we're going to mount uh, the solar panel. It's a tight squeeze, but. Uh, we got the insulation still on the top of the, the companionway, so uh, uh, hopefully in a couple of days that also is gone. This is the solar panel, been with us for the last three years now, and it's 110 watts, and it's uh, quite a nice solar panel. And, uh, we got it just in front of the spray hood, you might have seen it on earlier videos. So uh, every winter we take it off and store it down in the locker. When we see the uh, amount of dust <laughs> from the city uh, accumulating since Christmas, I think it's about time to leave. So today is the day. We chose a beautiful day to do our first short leg and uh, it's kind of sunny. Uh, it's going to be some uh, snow showers. It's going to be good. So 
It's only eight o'clock and uh, we are preparing. We need to prepare the slip before we go. We need to uh, take away all the ropes and moorings and uh, get it ready for the next one, if there is a next one to take uh, this slip during the summer. So we're gonna then move the boat just 50 meters. That's our first leg today. And then uh, another 50 nautical miles later today. And it's zero degrees Celsius. <laughs> it is a lot of snow. And when we put the flag on the boat today, it's gonna be seven months till we take it down again. So I'm gonna give Roget the honor to do it. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes, I'm excited. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna take the uh, shore power, close everything off, and leave. Yes. Everything. Everything is frozen. Oh. It's a good feeling on the wrapping. Uh, but it doesn't feel like summer yet. <laughs> it's kind of hail, kind of snow. It's just a shower. We're gonna wait to move before that's past us. all the way south today, in and out of the snow. going by motor gonna take us uh, beyond all of these small islands uh, it is kind of squally <laughs> we are about to get hit by another snow shower 
so um, we're gonna turn a little south after this and uh, we're gonna try out a little bit of the sails anyway uh, depends on the wind but we need to fight all of this and it's uh, snowing yeah it's uh, like cold it's really cold yeah it's really cold and uh, we discovered a lot of troubles when you first started we had uh, the main computer uh, providing us with uh, open CPN suddenly the charge won't go so and that was about three minutes before we should start and then we have to put up an old computer which wasn't updated since God knows when and we had that one waiting for that one in over an hour to uh, start up and um, so now that's one going and we had some difficulties with the the trip uh, the uh, the mile counter and the speed counter so um, but the engine uh, works perfectly all right we have to fix the autopilot that we did for a couple of months ago and that one seems to work okay so uh, we have to do some job in the first place we, we arrived to and um, but uh, we're gonna take up the sail after a while and see how that goes see if we can find some more problems because <laughs> we <laughs> We haven't done a test sail and that's the problem. Now it's blowing about 20 to 25 knots of wind, gusting up to 25 knots. And um, I want to go by engine in between those small islands before, because we haven't been on test sail. We're not sure that we got the sail upright, we don't know. So we want to be a little further from land before we hoist the sail. One of the things that we have been working on before this trip is the power consumption of the boat. We got a fairly big battery bank, but one of our issue has been to try and reduce the total power consumption as much as we can. On the top of the list of heavy users is the cooling box. That has been an issue ever since we bought the boat. Then I stumbled upon something on the internet that might be a game changer. Uh, this is our uh 
new gadget. It's a uh, thing that uh, promises us a uh, power reduction of 30 to 50 percent on our cooling box. We got a uh, Danfoss cooling box on board and it's uh, it's running constantly. It uh, uh, never turns off. It um, goes from when you turn it on, it goes from room temperature down to zero degrees and it freezes all over and we, then we start the whole process again. So we, um, we find this on the internet, in a local dealership, and um, it's an isotherm uh, rebuilding set. So we're going to replace the thermostat with the, the thermostat in here and we're going to install a regulator and a smart energy control and uh, these three things should uh, make the uh, cooler reduce its power consumption with 30 to 50 percent and um, I'm going to open it if we find a way to open it And just as promised, the smart control, the temperature sensor, and the regulator. And the price for this set is 2,000 crowns. And 2,000 crowns is approximately $300 or 200 pounds. But if it's working, I would be happy to pay it. Because its consumption of power now is humongous. So uh, if we can reduce it to half or near as half the consumption, it would be pretty happy. Here we see the cooling unit and uh, what we're gonna do is take off the plastic cover so that we got access to the fan and the regulator. When we have removed the plastic cover, we loosen the unit from the back wall and take out the old temperature regulator. And we can see the two wires leading to the fan which is mounted in the plastic cover. Then I mounted the new regulator in the same spot as the old one and leading the electrical wires, both the regulator and the temperature sensor, down to the compressor unit which is placed in the cabinet under the cooling box. Then I took the smart controller and connected it to the compressor. Now we see that we have to connect the wires from the fan and connect the power cables. And we have a plug from the temperature controller that goes in the connection on the top. And here we see the final result. I put out a link to a video from the producer in the uh, description below, so you can get a more accurate picture of how it's done. Then to the final question. Does it work? Yes, it does. Exactly how much we reduced our power consumption is hard to tell, but we're guesstimating it to be around 30 to 40%. So we are very pleased with our installation. <laughs>